New Electric Atlas, humanoid robot by Boston Dynamics, just sends shockwaves with outstanding performance. Yeah, you got that right. No hype here. A day after announcing the retirement of Atlas, its hydraulic robot, Boston Dynamics has shown a new all-electric version of its humanoid machine. The next-generation Atlas robot is intended to have a much wider range of motion than its predecessor. The updated version of the robot is almost indistinguishable. The bowed legs, top-heavy torso, and plated armor are all gone. The slim new mechanical skeleton contains no exposed cables. The business, which has long avoided robopocalyptic objections, has chosen a friendlier, gentler design than both the original Atlas and more modern robots, such as the Figure 1 and Tesla Optimus. Hello and thanks for tuning in. Before we go any further, please take a moment to support us by liking this video. Subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you'd always know when we put out new videos. And remember, sharing is caring. Okay, let's get back to it. The teaser showcasing the new robot's capabilities is as unnerving as it is theatrical. Additionally, the design itself is rather more humanoid. The updated Atlas now resembles bipedal robots such as Tesla's Optimus with longer limbs, a straighter back, and a separate movable head. Its face has an integrated ring light and there are no visible connections. With a plethora of new AI and machine learning techniques from Boston Dynamics, it is a clear upgrade over its predecessor. The robot's knees bend as the camera moves around its back. The movement starts off naturally before veering into something with spectacular motions. With this deft amount of leg rotation, the robot, which looked to be resting on its back, has essentially switched places. Atlas faces the camera when it stands to its maximum height. The head now rotates 180 degrees, and then the torso does the same. It remains motionless for a little while, giving the camera its first good look at its head, which is a ring of light encircling a perfectly round screen. Once more, as Atlas moves away from the camera and out of frame, the torso follows the head's 180-degree turn. The system's capacity to turn on a dime contributes significantly to its production potential. It reminds me of Agility's Digit Demos. The firm is notable for being the only one of its kind systems on this size, in which a robot moves to a shelf, turns around, walks to the conveyor belt, turns around and returns. When you multiply that operation by hundreds, if not thousands, of times per day, you can appreciate the importance of saving time. A day after retiring the hydraulic version of their humanoid robot, Boston Dynamics revealed that Atlas has gone electric. The speed is quick and the steps are still jerky, but they're much more fluid than many of the new commercial humanoids we've seen in recent years. If anything, the walk recalls the brazen confidence of Spot Atlas cousin, whose evolutionary tree diverged from the humanoid a few generations back. Boston Dynamics intended the latest version to demonstrate that Atlas can maintain its humanoid form without limiting how a bipedal robot can move. The latest version has been rebuilt with swivel joints, which the manufacturer claims make it uniquely capable of tackling dull, dirty, and dangerous tasks. We designed the electric version of Atlas to be stronger, more dexterous, and agile, the business stated in a news release. Atlas may have a human-like form factor, but we are enabling the robot to move as efficiently as possible to fulfill a task, rather than being limited by a human range of motion. Atlas will move in ways that are beyond human capability. The new robot's aesthetic is more similar to that of Agility's Digit and Optronics Apollo. The traffic light-headed robot has a softer, whimsical look. The all-new Atlas. Boston Dynamics has defied its own convention by keeping the research name for a product it intends to commercialize. Spot Mini became Spot, the handle changed to Stretch. For the time being, Atlas remains Atlas. According to Boston Dynamics' current plan, the electric Atlas will begin pilot testing at Hyundai facilities early next year, with full production coming a few years later. The business also stated that it is continuing to improve on capabilities already obtained with the previous generation of hydraulic Atlas model, such as lifting and maneuvering things while also investigating several new gripper variations to prepare the robot for a variety of industry environments. Boston Dynamics announced that the redesigned Atlas will be evaluated with a small set of clients over the next few years, beginning with Hyundai. We're going to be doing experiments with Hyundai on-site beginning next year, Plater said. We already have Hyundai equipment on-site. We've been working on it for a long. To make something work, you need a lot more than simply fancy technology. 
You actually have to understand that use case, and you have to be productive enough to justify investing in a robot. What will the new Atlas be in charge of on the Hyundai showroom floor, if not boxes? The answer is shown in a February video that the company released, in which the hydraulic robot interacts with car struts, the Hyundai parts that Plater had previously identified. Our long history and dynamic mobility means we're strong and we know how to accommodate a heavy payload and still maintain tremendous mobility, he said. I think that's going to be a differentiator for us being able to pick up heavy, complex, massive things. That strut in the video probably weighs 25 pounds. Picking up wheels will launch a video later as part of this whole effort showing a little bit more of the manipulation tasks with real-world objects we've been doing with Atlas. I'm confident we know how to do that part, and I haven't seen others doing that yet. Other humanoid robots from competitors like Asfigure and Uptronic are also being tested on production lines for BMW and Mercedes respectively. The situation has shifted considerably in the decades since the hydraulic Atlas was introduced. Electric Atlas has some company including humanoid robots from Figure, Aptronic, Tesla, and 1X among others. For us, there's obviously been a huge influx of interest. I think that influx has been motivated by three events. Boston Dynamics got acquired by Hyundai for nearly a billion dollars. That sort of woke everybody up like, whoa, there's an exit path. Tesla expressing interest in manufacturing sort of validated things we've been doing for a long time. And then the emergence of AI as a tool to help deal with generality is making all of this feasible. We've been patient to announce because we wanted to do enough research to understand that we can solve manipulation problems and be confident in a new generation of machine. The company's videos, which generally illustrate what its Atlas hydraulic robot model can do, are almost always viral. Yes, these films highlight a company's tremendous technological advances in developing a humanoid robot capable of parkour. However, the videos were popular because of the robot's funny personality. Sure, parts of Atlas moves could be dystopian, but Atlas also resembled a Disney slash Pixar creation. So be sure to watch this video up here to find out if Tesla's Optimus can match up with the new electric Atlas. What do you think? Do let us know what you think about today's discussion in the comments section below. And you can support this channel by liking this video. And that concludes this episode. Be sure to subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you'd always know when we put out new content. And remember, sharing is caring. Take care and see you in the next video.